it's in regards to metformin, it it does something within the fat cell. Uh, it increases the action of AMPK, which allows the GLUT4 transporter to rise to the surface of the cell and accept more glucose. Um, so it lowers blood glucose, but it's forcing the glucose into the cell. But the cell doesn't want that glucose. This is why it has switched off the mechanism. It's a safety mechanism. When we overfill a fat cell, it can lead to leakage, and this becomes incredibly toxic. So we don't want to fill. The fat cell can grow at an a, a, a exponential rate, and it can grow incredibly large. But when it gets too big, the fat will leak, and it can cause problems. This mechanism of blood glucose increasing is a safety mechanism by the cell. The body is telling you, I do not want any more glucose into the cell because I'm going to explode. Metformin forces that glucose into the cell. So that glucose is still in the body. It's just not in the blood. And now it's in the cell, which is even more damaging, you know? So for that reason, we shouldn't be taking metformin. Now, the problem with the extra fat in the cell or, or, or the glucose storage is glycation. Now, glycation is incredibly damaging to the body. Glycation causes uh, advanced glycation end products, AGEs, which bind to a receptor called RAGE which is the receptor of the advanced glycation end product. So I love that RAGE, fantastic, isn't it? They could have called it A-G-E-R, but it's RAGE is far better. So when, when the, the A-G-E binds to the RAGE receptor, it activates two pathways. It activates NFKB, which is a pathway you guys have been mentioned lots. This is uh, an inflammatory pathway. This will signal uh, the protein synthesis of inflammatory cytokines, which cause havoc within the body. The other pathway is called NOx. It's the NOx pathway. Um, this will increase oxidative stress within the body. So the, the answer to the, the issue of blood glucose is stop eating glucose. We lower <laughs> glucose in the diet, and that, then the problems are resolved. We don't need to take silly drugs like metformin to force an action that the body does not want to happen. So I'm not a fan of this. Um,